traffic, such as SSH connections, can be tunneled over other protocols like DNS, ICMP, or HTTP. As an example, we can use HTTP tunnel to tunnel the SSH protocol over what appears to be an S HTTP connection. The HTTP tunnel program can be installed on Kali Linux using apt. If you don't have it installed, you can install the HTTP tunnel software, which will install both the client and the server. You must have at least the client running on the client machine and the server running on the server machine in order to set up the connection. In our scenario, we have a client that will be connecting over to the server side. The client is HTC and it has the ability to do port forwarding. As an example, we can tell the client that we want to connect on port 1022 and have that forwarded to the server side. And we'll choose port 8443 as our HTTP tunnel port. On the server side, we need to have a similar connection set up. But in this case, when the information comes in, we'll forward it to the local listening port 22, which is where the SSH server is running. And we'll listen for that connection on 8443. So you want to note that the port that the HTTP server is listening on and the port that the HTTP client is connecting to have to be the same port. So we'll start the server running. And we'll start the client running. On the server side, let's go ahead and set up TCP dump to watch this connection. On the server side, we have TCP dump listening, we have the SSH server running, and we have HTTP tunnel server listening on 8443 in order to forward traffic to that SSH server. So let's try to connect to the SSH server on the local listening port on the client side. We set it up on 1022 and on localhost. Now we need to log into the SSH server, the password for that server, and we're connected. Stop TCP dump on this side and take a look at the packets. We'll filter by HTTP protocol. And now we'll follow this TCP stream. Inside, we can see HTTP traffic and the SSH protocol being carried by that traffic. So we have HTTP tunnel, which has the connection between the two systems. And over that HTTP tunnel, we're tunneling the SSH traffic inside, resulting in this place seen here.